Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another HBAR price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBAR chart which has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 0.0639 mark and before I get into that part of the technical analysis make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the daily chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening and what I'm expecting to play out on the long term scenarios here on the HBAR chart where you can see that HBAR from these low prices that he had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an all time high at around the $0.5822 dollar mark in what I'm terming as a higher edu 12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective structure which took us back to around the $0.0356 dollar mark in what I'm terming as a higher edu 12 count to and on the long term scenarios whatever we expect next after seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count true is a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edu 12 count 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with 3 here on the daily chart you can see that my minimum target area is at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the $0.9768 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting HBAR to do on the long term scenarios and giving you an area here on the Fibonacci that we need to also break above so that we can say that we are back in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the all time high that target area on the Fibonacci is the FIB level 0.88 which lies at around the $0.0788 dollar mark which is a target area that we had managed to break above in the previous pump that we had here on the HBAR chart and made a high at around the $0.0808 dollar mark once we manage to break above the FIB level 0.88 then there are chances of saying that we are back in the formation of that higher edu 12 country and we can continue seeing a recovery and also unlock even higher prices and starting my short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the HBAR chart here on the daily chart if I zoom in so that you can see this better here on the daily chart after making our high at around the $0.08 dollar mark we have some candlestick patterns that we have over here that I don't want to ignore where you can see that we had the formation of this very long week to the upper side which was an indication that the buyers the sellers we are starting to take over the market and that is after seeing this huge move to the upside and after seeing this huge week to the upper side you can see we started seeing a bit of a corrective structure to the lower side where we have been unlocking even lower prices but luckily HBAR has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the $0.0639 dollar mark and jumping to the one hour chart so that I can give you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out you can see that HBAR after making its low at around the $0.0356 dollar mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that has been obeying the edu 12 structures where you can see that I have these edu structure to the upside having the way 5 making its peak at around the $0.0808 dollar mark and after seeing this 5 wave structure to the upside we completed an even larger edu 12 count 1 to the upside that is this edu 12 structure that I have right here in red and after seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count 1 whatever we expect next is a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of a higher edu 12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci is connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 which perfectly lies between the $0.0585 dollar mark and the $0.0532 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I've been expecting HBAR to retrace into before we can see the low for that second wave and expect a bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and because a second wave is a corrective wave I'm also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure and you can see there are chances that we might have seen the high for this wave B at around the $0.0709 dollar mark and we are yet to see the low for this wave C within this red target area and once that happens then we can name that as the higher edit wave count too low then we can expect a very nice bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 so that is what I've been expecting on the short term scenarios but you also need to have in mind that it is not a guarantee that HBAR continues to obey the edit structures and also 
purpose of fully maximize this target area in the formation of this wave 2 there are chances of seeing a turnaround within the prices that we are trading within and also given the support of the 20 day ma there are chances that we have the support that we need for us to continue pushing even higher and start that explosive move to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 so we also need to have in that in mind and also be prepared for such a scenario and also be prepared for this move to the lower side to fully maximize this target area down here in the formation of this wave 2 before we can see that explosive move to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 so that is what i'm expecting on the long term and also on the short term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 51 mark meaning we have massive room for ads to support any movements to the upper side and also to the lower side also taking a look at the macd here on the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross and that means higher prices are coming our way but we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the buying momentum here on the macd meaning soon we might be able to print that bearish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated